Design Army was hired by Nina Paper to reinvent the classic paper line, which was a, quite a challenge because the paper line has been around for quite some time. And how do we make that classic current? Nina Classic Brand, it's a family of four different products. Uh, the brand, it consists of Classic Crest, Classic Linen, Classic Column, and Classic Laid. We are trying to figure out how to reposition and rebrand these, these four well-known paper lines, but at the same time, they were introducing all these new elements, 10 perfect colors. I think when people get this perfect 10 book in their hands, it's gonna be really hard for them to let it go. For the opening of the Nina Perfect 10, we wanted to do a shot that captured all the 10 colors uh, for the new line. Decking the guy out in the 10 colors, it's a great way to kind of visually set up what's about to happen on the inside. Everything's done by hand. We sketch. Always start with sketch first because, you know, execution always come later, but if the idea is not there, you know, don't bother execute it. How do we make something that's very classic new again? We started concepting out these images. It's great as a sketch, and then the client picks it, and then we're like, oh crap, how are we gonna do this? So sensible luxury for the classic linen, we thought, let's do something that's not sensible. Let's take something that's really different, really unique, but still luxury. And so the concept of taking the model and poking her through this paper and really just focusing on the beauty aspects of her. When she first stuck her head through the paper, it's kind of bizarre, you know, it's kind of like, you know, the paper birth <laughs> of, of the model, I guess. We have a hand poking through that's holding a little book. We have one that's holding a mirror and lipstick. You know, it's really a different way for us to kind of take that image and twist it. And the fact that there's three hands coming through makes you do that second look. It makes you take that second peek at it. Postman, complete communicator. We wanted to have this classic postman, but in a modern way. We decided to shoot at this great topiary garden in Baltimore. You really feel like this postman is standing in the middle of this great, huge estate. It's sort of fantasy-like. He has on the, the classic jacket and the classic postman hat, but then he also is holding this smart tablet, you know? And it's a way to kind of make it a little bit more modern, a little bit more interesting. Well, in all the books, we all there's all these like little hidden elements. You know, the postman has his tablet that he's delivering. On the still life with the vases, there's actually a hand that's cast for the handcrafted. So there's a little weird element there. And the linear impacts for the classic columns. It's that repetition of line, that uniformity of line, and we wanted to capture that into the image as well. Once we got to the Franciscan Monastery, we also then had to kind of quickly clean the area where we were gonna shoot. The idea for the balloons, that'd be her. This is for classic column book. The purpose of balloon to really enhance the tagline of linear impact. We had to blow up all the balloons, so I had the compressor going, blowing up all these big balloons that we were gonna use. We actually ended up using a good old fishing line and duct tape. Can't ever go wrong, you know, you always gotta have those. For me, it's very important to communicate the classic, like a young Leonardo da Vinci is painting something, almost dancing while painting at the same time. This image actually ended up turning out to be quite different because we had originally shot it with the white background. We were able to take that image and remove the tree. So we just have the guy painting and then we're able to have him paint stripes and be able to paint uh, patterns and textures or whatever we want to do now on a lot of the advertising. Either blue, or this is the best, is the sure. Once we got the image back and we start doing retouch on the images, that's where they really start to grow and evolve into their final cool. product. That's better. Just taking the picture and dropping it in is never gonna work. You have to treat all those images as like little works of art. We feel pretty successful with the project. We set off with this whole wide range of crazy concepts. And it was all these interesting things that we presented to the client as a concept. And whenever you can kind of finally see them come together in the final product, it's a really great sense of accomplishment.